So now that you have a rough understanding of MIDI versus audio, as well as the session view, let's go ahead and start creating some clips to fill in our clip slots. Some of you may notice that my layout looks a lot simpler than what you have on your screen, and that's because if you go here to the bottom right section of the session view, you'll see all of these buttons that enable or disable extra sections. Right now, all I want you to worry about is the mixer section. So just have that enabled, and this is so that we can adjust the levels of our audio and MIDI tracks. As a tip before we start, I also recommend enabling the info view by clicking this button on the bottom left corner of the screen. What info view allows you to do is every time you hover over something in Ableton, an information snippet about it will pop up in the bottom and the descriptions are really useful for new users of Ableton. All right, so let's begin. I'm gonna start off by clicking the show hide browser button on the top left side of the screen over here. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow me to navigate through plugins, instruments, effects, and samples. You'll see a selection of them at the top here separated by categories. And you know, you can also add your own folders here in the places section. I've went and added a folder called tutorial samples where I'll be keeping all of my samples for this tutorial. And I'm just going to click on it over here and you see that I have a collection of samples. I can preview the audio files by clicking on this little headphone icon at the bottom and now anytime I click on one of these audio files you'll hear them. My goal is to take one of these audio files and have them occupy a clip slot in one of my audio tracks. To do so I'm just going to click and drag one of these audio files right into a clip slot just like that. So that sample of ours is now a clip, and if we press play, it will play that clip. Check it out. So let's drag in uh, that second clip we have and put it in a different audio track. Now if I press play on the second one as well, You can see that I can play both of these tracks together. Uh, if I want to stop everything, if I want to stop all audio that's playing, I just press the stop button at the top here. But let's say while they're playing, I just want to stop one of the clips. So I can press a stop button on that same track in any of the other empty slots, and it'll just stop playing that clip. So I can actually play or stop these clips individually like so. Uh, but let's say you want to launch all of the clips that are all along this row here all together. You can actually just press this button over here on the right side of the screen. and uh, Or sorry, I should say these array of buttons over here. And they'll trigger every, every clip on an individual scene. So if I haven't actually been explicit about it, you can see the advantage of using this session view where you can have different sections of an entire song that you're working on lined up into these different rows and have them triggered using these uh, scene launch buttons over here. So it makes session view really, really useful. And once we plug in a MIDI controller and start messing around with that, you'll see just how awesome that is. If I double click on an individual clip, you can see that all this extra information about that clip pops up at the bottom. Uh, don't worry about that for now. We're going to return to this section in a later video. Also, if I look at the mixer section over here, you can see that I have these activator buttons as well as these solo buttons. What the uh, activator buttons do is allow me to effectively mute or unmute a track like so. <laughs> And what the solo buttons allow me to do is just solo that track so it's the only thing I can hear and it'll mute everything else. Now that we understand how to create clips and audio tracks, let's use a MIDI track to play a virtual instrument. I'm going to start off by making sure that these clips aren't going to be playing anymore. And then I'm going to go to the browser section over here, and I'm going to navigate to instruments that uh, you can see in categories. 
We're going to select an instrument for our MIDI track to use. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use the operator instrument provided by Ableton. I'm just going to click it and drag it right into the MIDI track here. You can see we now have this virtual synthesizer over here at the bottom of the screen, which is the operator instrument. What we want to do is we want to create a new MIDI clip to fill in this clip slot right over here. Uh, before we start, I'm just going to disable recording on this track. Don't worry about this button for now. I'm going to cover it in a later video as well. But anyways, I'm going to just disable that. And now I'm going to go to this clip slot. And if I double click on it, voila, you will see that a new MIDI clip has been created. And if I just drag up this section from the bottom, when I click on this clip right here, so let's go away from it. When I click on this clip, you'll see that this MIDI note editor has popped up. And this is what's viewing into this clip, and it's going to allow us to edit MIDI notes on a set track. If this little headphone button is enabled over here, every time I click on any one of these keys on the piano roll, it's going to send that MIDI signal or instruction to the virtual instrument for this track, which in this case is the operator. And well, we should be able to hear it. So let's try it out. So that's it. That's actually our operator instrument right there. Um, if you want to start drawing in some MIDI over here, all we got to do is maybe double click. And there you go. We have our first MIDI note. Now, if you want to play this and have it loop, we just press the play button on the clip. Now, I know that doesn't sound too terribly exciting, but now we can start writing in some chords or, or doing whatever you know you want. So let's mess around a bit. I'm just going to draw in a simple C major chord. That's it. And really, that's how easy it is to start writing MIDI and get it to send that information in through an instrument to play one of your virtual synths. So just some quick tips on the MIDI note editor in terms of the piano roll. Uh, if you want to move up and down between the uh, the different notes here, you can actually just click and drag up and down. Uh, if you want to zoom in and out, you click and drag left and right. And if you want to zoom in quickly on a specific note, just double click on that. And that'll just help you in terms of maneuverability when you're editing MIDI notes. So what I want to do is uh, I want to talk about some of the shortcuts to quickly draw stuff in your MIDI editor. If you double click, that's going to create a uh, note for you. If you want to duplicate it, uh, you can use Command D or Control D, I believe it is on um, Windows. And then you can just use your arrow keys to move them up and down. If you hold Shift and use your up and down on arrow keys, you'll actually jump from octave to octave. And if you hold Shift and then move left and right, you can actually extend or reduce the length of the MIDI notes. So these are some really useful shortcuts. It'll help you a lot when you're uh, drawing MIDI notes. So anyways, let's see if we can, we'll play the other tracks that we, sorry, we'll play the other uh, samples that we have in our audio tracks, and let's see if we can layer something on top of them. So I'm just gonna bring these down here. Let's get rid of all this. So as you can see, even when I've selected the MIDI clip and it doesn't actually have anything in it, it's still going to play. And this is great. This is going to allow us to edit live. So also, uh, another quick shortcut is if you press the space bar, it'll play or stop the entire track. So I've been using that as well. So, you know, not making a, an amazing track over here right now, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to go in and start editing MIDI for the MIDI clips that you have here. Um, and this sort of wraps up this tutorial on just knowing your way around, you know, 
creating clips using the uh, audio tracks over here and creating clips in the MIDI tracks as well and understanding the distinction.